What's up, whiskey lovers? All right, day, what's the date? It's the 14th, which means we're on day 14. Um, I am very much losing traction of what days they are. So today's one is another whiskey loot. As I said, we just started with the whiskey loot journey. Um, this one came in, uh, this one did come in the April pack. So this is the Korowa Distilling Co. Um, and it's the Korowa Characters is the name of this one. Uh, 46% from New South Wales. Now, they don't have too much information on the site, but they have a pretty cool video and that's gonna play right now. This isn't the Scottish Highlands or their lowlands or their bloody Speyside. Jeez. And you've probably figured out these cowboys aren't from the cornfields of Tennessee because this is Corowa, New South Wales. And this is a story about the people who call it home. <laughs> Dean met Bo on the footy field and hired him on the spot. After Tyler got in on the act, they bought a flour mill for a dollar. It was full of pigeon shit. And turned it into a distillery. The barley comes from Dean's family farm and the water is sourced from the Murray River. Proper holy water, that. What? Uh, nothing, Father. The barrels are borrowed from vineyards near and far. Get back here. And the whiskey is enjoyed by all. If the lads don't drink it first. Because while there's only two ingredients in truly great whiskey, it takes a town to bring them together. Coroa whiskey, made here by us. So those are the kind of guys that I'd probably enjoy having a whiskey. Um, so unfortunately, there's not much information on the website except for that actual video which you just saw. So there's no age statements about this. Um, there's no real information about how they distill the whiskey. All of that kind of stuff is actually really hard to find on the website. But if you have a look around on other websites, so um, the Whiskey Loot website has a bit of a write-up. The Dan Murphy's got a little bit. Uh, Nick's winery's got a little bit as well. But anyways, I'll read you this because this is what I love about Whiskey Loot. You don't actually have to do too much research. You just read this card and you drink some whiskey. So, Korowa Characters celebrates the people behind the whiskey made at the distillery in Korowa, New South Wales. A very approachable single malt wine cask whiskey that exhibits ex ex floral characters with honeycomb sweetness on the nose. The palate in, uh, indicates the combination of French and American oak influences and the sweetness follows through with good spirit integration. So the nose, it says salted butter, marzipan, red berries, fresh cut grass. I'm definitely getting some fruit. Again, for me, that's more dried fruit, maybe. The color on that is nice dark. No, it's not that dark, but it is a nice gold. It's got that sharpness. I don't know what, what flavor I've got for that. So the taste is tropical fruits, vanilla, red berries, and honeycomb. Um, my palate's probably not great tonight. I'm not too sure because I'm not getting any of those flavors at all. It's actually pretty good whiskey though. Um, it's got a lot of flavor to it. It's got a bit of bitterness to it, which is quite good but it's quite short. It only lingers for a little bit of time in your mouth. So the finish here, uh, shortest finish offers hints of raisins, Turkish delight and moderate bitterness. So I've got the bitterness, definitely didn't get any Turkish delight and thank God for that because I fucking hate Turkish delight. Um, yeah, I'm, I don't know what's going on tonight. I'm definitely getting the, I don't know. I'm getting more of the, 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 the dried fruits more so than anything. Anyways. I would be um, suggesting you go out and try this one. I think it's 95 bucks, which is a pretty good, it's only 500 mils, um, but a lot of Australian whiskey is. For 95 bucks, that's actually a cracking whiskey for Australia. Um, so again, 
with one, and I'm going to be putting this one in my collection when it's over. All right, guys, well, thank you, and tomorrow we've got another Whiskey Loop one. Make sure you leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, um, and that bell, because that way you get notified when I'm sending him, and sending the videos out, which generally should be about seven, eight o'clock at night, but they're just not happening at the moment. Anyways, guys, thanks again, and I'll catch you tomorrow for another review. Please don't get me in trouble for using your promo video. I'm putting tags to everything of you in there. I apologize in advance.